Well, that's news desk, Peppy. Hope you enjoyed it. Here's Jenny. We did tell you at the beginning of the programme that uh, somebody proper would be playing the cello. And I've just been taught very quickly, but very brilliantly, by Amelia Young. Amelia, welcome to Magpie. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for uh, trying to teach me how to play the cello. Well, you did very well. I think that's very kind of you, but I think I'll give up now while I'm winning. But you really are a fantastic cellist, considering that you only just turned 13. When was your birthday? November the 11th. It's only two weeks ago. Yes. And recently you've won a really wonderful competition. Yes, it's a Martin Musical Scholarship for all kinds of musicians, including composers and ensemble groups and conductors up to the age of 30. And you were the youngest? I think so, yes. And yet you won? Yes. That's remarkable. Now, you must have honestly worked an awful lot at the cello to get this good. Yes, I do. I do about three to four hours of cello a day. A day? Yes. And when did you start? I started when I was four on this tiny eight-sized cello, which was too big for me. Well, this is ridiculous. It looks more like a, a violin or something. A viola, yes, I know. It's not much larger than a large viola. And that was too big for you at four? Yes, I was absolutely tiny at four. Well, we have a photograph of you when you were five, because needless yes. to say you didn't give up, but then you got a, a bigger. Yes, a quarter-sized cello, because I'd grown quite a bit, but <laughs> at the beginning, I, that quarter-sized cello was too big for me as well. I must admit, you don't look really as though you can see over the top properly. Yes, I know it was very big because I was only just gone on to it. But your parents, neither of them are musical, are they? No, they're not. Well, what made you think of the cello? It's pretty outrageous, really. Well, Mummy knew I was musical and she sent me to Eurythmics, which is, well, relaxing and dancing to music, really. And the uh, teacher put me on to Julia Pringle, my first cello teacher, whom I started with when I was four, who mm. also owns this cello. And cello. that was the littlest one. What size is this one that you this sent to me? This is a half-sized cello, beautifully Italian, 1720. And hold yours up a minute and let's see the difference. Yours is... This is a 7 eighth, not quite full size, as I'm not quite full size. It's a Florentine <laughs> 18th century. So really, they're, they're worth quite a lot as well. So yes, you must have several thousands of pounds. Mm. Well, I promise not to play mine again. If you can play us a piece now, what will yes. you play? A Hungarian dance. <laughs> complicated to me. Yes, what is most difficult in it is playing an open string, which is a string without putting any fingers mm -hmm. down, and also plucking the string, which is called pizzicato, like this, because if you, you have to not get them together, otherwise it sounds kind of horrible. Pretty like ugly, that. really. Yes. Mm. Now, what do you hope to become? I mean, you've already gone an awful long way for only but just turning 13. Mm. Well, I really want to play like Jacqueline Dupre. Ah, That's my real ambition. That's perfection, isn't it? Yes. Well, perhaps with an awful lot more work. But do you also play some jolly pieces, like some well-known songs? Can you play for us one that I particularly like? Yes, Home Sweet Home. <laughs>
I'm sure Amelia Young will be a name to remember. Thank you very much for coming into our studio. Thank you. And now, obviously, from Home Sweet Home English Style, and we do thank you for your rendition of it, we'll go 